Well, what a, a gift it is to be invited to reflect a little bit with folks at General Council on who Jesus is, uh, who Jesus is to me, who do I say that he is? And I guess the first thing that pops into my mind is Jesus is simply the path uh, that has chosen me. Um, I, I, I didn't have a lot of say in it. I grew up in the church and I, I had a say in it as I got older, but I, I, uh, I have been on that journey for 62 years. The other thing I'd say is that the way I would describe him at this point in my life is, is that he is the embodiment of the divine. In other words, uh, he is uh, uh, embodying for us uh, the divine in ways that help us to understand how to embody the divine in ourselves. But I wanted to talk uh, more directly about how I've known Jesus and the places I, I have known Jesus and many places and ways. Uh, but primarily, I've known Jesus uh, in resurrection and in suffering, and that the two are inseparable in my mind. And I, I think about the story uh, of Doubting Thomas. We all know Doubting Thomas. I always think, I want to say poor Doubting Thomas, because uh, he gets a bad rap. Um, the story is, is that the disciples were off uh, and they ran into, or Thomas was out and they ran into the resurrected Jesus three days after the crucifixion. And they told Thomas about it. He said, I won't believe it until I see the nails in his hand, the holes in his hands and put my hand in his side. And, um, you know, it, is all through the gospel of John, seeing is believing. It's like a scientific formula almost. People see and then they believe. So, you know, Thomas is in keeping with that. But more importantly, I think that what Thomas doubted was not the resurrection, but was the wounds. Um, I mean, after all, Jesus had told him and the other disciples a number of times that uh, he was going to be uh, crucified and on the third day he would rise. Um, the writer of the Gospel of John makes a point that Thomas was there when Lazarus was raised from the dead. So he's seen uh, someone raised from the dead already. And there's also this uh, sense that there were others in that time in history who uh, were, had been claimed to have been raised from the dead. So it isn't, to me, the resurrection he has a hard time believing. And the clue is when he says, I won't believe it until I see the holes in his hands made by the nails and place my hand in his side. He didn't say, I won't believe it till I see Jesus up walking or talking or eating or laughing. I won't believe it till I see the wounds. And so I, I've always understood that to mean that Thomas struggled with the idea that the resurrection could include the woundedness. And um, I think a lot of us uh, worry about that uh, or wonder about that at times that we see woundedness and suffering as somehow uh, not uh, part of who Jesus is and the resurrection as who uh, the ultimate Jesus is. And uh, I guess when I think about how I've known Jesus, I've known Jesus in new life, but I've also known Jesus in suffering, not uh, my own in small ways, certainly uh, in the point we're at in history, in the history of the church, and even more in the world where in the midst of great suffering, there is also often new life. And so that's one of the ways that uh, I have known Jesus. And I, uh, I thank you for the opportunity to share it with you.